Susan Miller? Who? Huh? Susan Miller? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know Janice Tuck? Yeah. yeah. Want to come for a ride? Let's care for a cup of tea. Who? Oh, cup of tea. An entry. It's a queer, isn't it? It's got to be. No. Business. Are you the two lads that are always borrowing cars? Oh, I don't mind. It's a good idea. And everybody needs transport. What do you do when you're finished with them? Dump them. That's right. Uh, Bobby. Keith. Somebody was telling us uh, you could help us. Doing what? What you've been doing. You want a car, Nicky? <laughs> See, we just like driving around, really. OK, lads. No. It's dead easy. My mum's new bloke says if a car's going to get nicked, it usually happens within 90 seconds after it's been parked. Well, how would he know that? Well, he's a cop, actually, down at Fulham Nick. I need the screwdriver.
shit. Told you, some other character had the same idea. Try again. Twenty-five to you. Same for him. You did a good job, son. Any time, Jack. I'll be in late on Monday, Tattersall. You'll be all right, won't you? Oh, yes, Mr. Mayor. About, um... Not before lunch. Right there, Mr. Mayor. Have a good weekend, Mr. Mayor. What did we do? Not enough. Told you before about that larking about. Right, off. What about that overtime? We work Wednesday. About the windscreen, he broke Thursday. All right, good riddance. Give us a fag, Mum. I've got no more fags for you. Cheers, Oscar. Hey. You got any, uh, more light now, love? Good evening. Our first report takes us to North London, where a raid took place last week. The thieves stole over twenty thousand pounds in cash. Yeah, it's only on about the full of nasty things. The raid, didn't he, Oscar? Cortina, was later yeah. found abandoned in Brook Garden. Lovely load of scotch. Did do any good? Been sprayed blue okay. and equipped with a new <laughs> set of number plates, VYH 830G. But the registration marks on the axle and the gearbox identified it as the light green metallic Cortina, registration number BML 891H that was stolen from the car park of Hatfield Town Centre last Friday between 15. Now, if you were shopping in Woolco's in Hatfield last Friday or were using oh. the car park and happened to see that Cortina Bobby. or saw any part of the raid, then the police would like you to get in touch with them. Are you sure you got that straight? Well, Bobby saw it on the telly. You better be damn well sure, Sonny. People that talk get hurt, you know. They don't know a damn thing anyway. Anything left of your 25 quid? No, not much. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Bryant. I'll have a word with Bobby, but. He's not much use to you, is he? He's all right. Well, you were thinking of going to work again. Give us a ring. You are a prat, Bob. How can you be a cop when you've got a record? Oscar says they're not bothered what you've done as a juvenile. Come on, Bob. Bryant said he wouldn't no, say No, I want to stay out of trouble. 
Serious, man? Rubbish serious. The last time he wanted to be a paratrooper. Yeah, well... And the time was... before that, he wanted to breed greyhounds. Look, I've been through this a lot of times with Oscar, and he says he's going to put in a good word for me when I'm 18 and a half. And it's not like what you think. Oscar says they have a lot of good times, really. And they teach us stuff. It's a real job. Pays good. Regular reviews. Uniforms free naturally. Get accommodation straight off. Or a subsidy, depending on your circumstances. Mr. Brian? Keith. Hello, Keith. You go down to Broadway tomorrow about four. Johnny will meet you. He's a pretty good heist. Get in, Spot. And the weather for the capital area, it's going to be another day with temperatures in the high 80s. Long range forecast is for even hotter weather than the average throughout the next month, about 87 to 90. <laughs> Just had a current. Johnny. Good. Yeah. So you want to learn about this game? Well, there's not a lot to it. You either got it or you haven't. The rest is common sense now. All depends on these, basically. No use making a car if you ain't got a book to go with it. Now, what you got there? A Ford Capri, a Rover 2000, and a Datsun Under. Well, that's what you've got to look out for. Any one of them will do us. Where'd you get them from? Nah, nothing to do with me. Where'd the boss get some? Nah, he usually gets them off a wreck. Pick up a wreck for 20 quid, get a logbook thrown in. I heard you can get them up the town hall. There's some bent subs in there. And this is Kiki D, loving and free. What do they do with them? Ah, oh, well, they either ring them or they'll cut them. Oh, yeah, ring them, uh, they'll stroke them up a bit. Spray job, change the numbers round. Plug them in the trade or they'll cut them up for spares. Like most places, are only taking them for cutting now. You know, I mean, it used to be half and half, but it costs so much to ring a car. It's hardly worth the trouble. How'd you get in with Brian? Just met him. He's a jerk. I shouldn't let him bother you. There's a Datsun. Nah, I don't feel like a Datsun. Nah, that Brian. I hate the Scots. I wish they would piss off. You done anything like this before? Oh, yeah. Nick, lots of cars. You know, for fun. Oh, joyriding, is it? Well, you can forget that. This is a job, right? Serious. So but, I mean, if you've got the right attitude, it's a living, you know? I mean, I've been at it a few years. Got no overheads, really. Money's a problem. 125, 150 a week. The only time was you were laughing with that, but no. I mean, these buggers are taking home over 100 quid a week on salary. <laughs> Ridiculous. And what's the point in taking all these risks for an extra, what, 25 quid a week? So I expect you wouldn't mind making one, two, five, would you? <laughs> we'll have her. How are you going to get in if it's locked? With that kind of handle, you can usually force it with one of these. On the other end, this is a lot simpler. I should do it. She'll turn the engine as well. Okay, sport. in the arse. Is it no good, then? No, it means Solly will have to go to work on it. It cuts into the profits. 
You have to watch out for this sort of thing. Nah, I'll have to do. Look, I'm playing cards tonight, so I won't feel like it tomorrow. All right for Friday? Yeah. About the same time. There we go. All right, turn on. Hello. Mind you, he took a bit of a risk the other day. What would you have done if there had been an alarm in that rover? Eh? One of them gravity pendulum sods. The moment you put your bum down, where? The thing is, whenever you come up to a car, you get a firm push with your hands, right? Those things goes off, it's got nothing to do with you, just to pass a bike, poodle on down the road. But uh, if it goes off while you're in there, difficult. <laughs> well, that was in Knightsbridge. Couldn't resist this lovely little Aston Martin. So that's it, no trouble. Just settle me bomb down. Wow, 50 million people around me. Traffic one, mine gone. It's both of up to me, so this is your car, is it? And don't forget it's an Aston, 10,000 quid more. Huh? Of course it is the same. And get out, go around the front, home the bonnet, pull the own cable out, sudden silence, right? Come back, but still looking at me. Anyway, says, what bleeding business is it of yours? <laughs> it did look small. The thing is, that I look as though I've got over an Aston. You know, I look right. Part of the job, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna get some new stuff Saturday. Yeah, we well, don't get around here, it's mainly rubbish. I usually go up west. Stanley Allen's got some nice stuff. I suppose we better do this dash and keep asking for it. Yeah, I usually got somebody waiting. Don't like stuff hanging around the shop. Oh, I hate doing jack cars, they depress me. Council's president, Charlie Denton, blames the closure of the plant on government's failure to stop imports. Ten minutes. The government cannot legislate in order to preserve and save the industries of Britain. And they're going to allow the textile industry to go the same way as the motorcycle industry went. Then what is this nation going to become? A nation of Texas for the Japanese, putting things together for the Now, I did a stupid thing, but I kept my head. As long as you keep your head. I thought she was going to move. What? Huh? You would have come for a ride if I'd asked her. <laughs> you want a phone number? <laughs> yeah, we're early. Tch. Oh, come on, follow me. Go on, come on. What's he doing here? Couldn't be bothered to wait. He hasn't any business doing here Stop yet. Stop it, Brian. Oi! That's Paul. Ah, you bastard. Hey, Keith. My man Solomon. Keith just joined the firm. You all right? Good. Best bent mechanic in the business, aren't you, Sol? Make sod all out of it. Well, I ain't complaining. Well, you ought to be. Ah, uh, John. He's a bit idle, but he's good. He rings these cars like bells. Engine, chassis plates, don't miss a thing. Now, this is magic. You remember that Rover you nicked the other day? I want colour with it. Uh, white. Very good. You wouldn't know. Even the upholstery. It's Velma, John. Where? On the phone. 
Oh, well, tell her... No, I'll do it. Now, oh, this will take a while. We've got some new wallpaper coming. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Same place, usual time. No, it's like a little bucket on wheels, you know? No, I don't blame you. I've always kept away from them myself. Don't mind a hun, don't mind a yang, but otherwise. Where the hell? There's always a couple around here. What's the hurry, Joe? There. Now, it's got to be in Reading early tomorrow. They've got a driver waiting for it. Now, that's not one either, is it? God, I wish I brought a picture. Is it worth much? Nah, sod all. It's just some bloody favour for somebody, some bird. All this uproar. Do you ever get any big cars? I mean, the other day you were talking about nicking an Aston. Ah, no, that was just a bit of silliness. No, you've got to be very careful with the expensive stuff, cos the cops care about them, you know? Unless you've got foreign plates, then you're all right. I mean, they do get nicked, you know, but it's almost always a setup. They know where it is, they figured out how you're going to do it. You can't go and lift a Jensen or a Lotus straight off the street. Pay you a special rate, too. Well, they call it special, I call it a bleeding cheek. Now, Solly won't like it. I don't think he's ever worked on one of these before. Oh, I nicked a Rolls once. 72 Shadow. What's that? 9,000 quid. Yeah, I nicked it out of this boat's garage. They knew he'd be away for a week. I'm just driving it back to the shop. You know, looking forward to my 300, you know, my special, right? I suddenly thought to myself, what am I doing? <laughs> I still handed it over to them, right? Yeah. They had it in Ostend by the evening. Paid a packet on it, I don't know. Uh, the 300 lasted me and Velma about a week. Joke, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, find me a Smith's key. What? Smith's. Smith's left at the lights. Find the Citroens. Right, I know it. Now. Don't you ever do this. Go on, have the gates open and I'll see you there. Let's get a drink. Hey, what's this, John? So Diane, you'll get used to it. Hey, but this is beige. True. And the logbooks are blue. Best I could do, mate. Hey, Johnny, look. Look, you'll have to paint it, won't you? Hey, stop, stop, hold it, hold it. Get brand. Oh. Hey, this thing isn't worth painting. Oh, come on, Sol. Right. Look, a paint job takes 20 hours. I only have these guys for free. It should be blue. Well, it ain't. Oh, don't be stupid. I ain't going out no more, that's it. Let him paint the bugger. There isn't enough profit in it as it well, is. I can't help you. Well, what do you want, Mr Brandt? It's up to the governor, no me. Well, they what the night? He better not be here if the boss comes down. Now, the boy's made enough money for him this week. <laughs> They'll do it. 
for the one special rate. I'll have to phone. Go on with it anyway. Go. Let's get that drink. I thought I'd watch actually, John. Suit yourself. I'm going to tell you. No, it'll come to me. What's happening? Mm. I had a bad day, too. Not over yet. No, no. No, I'll tell you later. Late. Then I... OK, Velma. Oh, I just remember. What do you want? Got your overtime? Talk to the men. How long will it take? It's a ghost. Uh, How many? I can do it with two, but I want special rates. Plus 20 on top. Johnny again. I thought we'd be all right to bring him down, Gov. Did you? Would you like the work, son? Is he good at it? Oh, smashing, Gov, really. And uh, do you know how to keep your mouth shut? And do you know what happens if you don't? What? All right, watch your step. Good night, Mr. Man. Funny, I always thought the governor's name was Dixon. We're waiting for you, John. Heard you got one. Yeah, not bad, is she? Like old times, isn't it? Yeah, got a cheap. Very fair price. Is he knocked off? Nah, you're joking. Wouldn't have nothing off for me own. Nah, it's contacts. You know, in a trade. Got a job yet? How's Oscar? He's all right. It's not long now, is it? Only five months. Yeah. Still keen? 
I've been thinking about putting in for the river police. After me basic training. You know, you go out on the Thames on these boats with a blue light and a searchlight. Yeah, and... all right, Bob. See ya. No, no, I mean, it makes sense to me. I know a couple of guys at school joined the cops. They're doing very well. Never suited me. It's more for your average, stable, dullish kind of guy. Besides, I could never have worn a uniform with my skin. Just stop for a moment, John. I sign on Wednesdays. Well, that's nine, ten a week. Is it? And it's going up. Not much use to me. I had had a card for 15 years. You don't have cards anymore. Don't you? Over there, John. Who? On the left. Oh, you've got smashing eyes with this, Keith. Today, the fourth day of the third test, and if all goes Australia's way as it has done over the first three days, then we should be in for a very short end to this test. As far as the weather's concerned, it's on the Australian side. It's more like the temperature of Bondi Beach as opposed to Brighton Beach. So there we are, all the action of boards throughout the day. The next thing this morning until 6 going on? I don't know you, do I? Do you, um... uh, Can I help you, sir? What? Oh, it's, it's this fellow. My employee, sir. Your what? My employee, sir. Is this your car? Uh, no. No, but I know whose it is. Works in the next office, sir. Well, what's he doing in there? Uh, he's just doing his job, sir. Hmm? Uh, I know it's a bit unfair on your friend, sir, but, um... You better take a look at this if it'll set your mind at rest. Do you make concern? I know it's a shame, sir, but uh, in this sort of situation, if no, the payments aren't kept up, then we are authorised. Just take his car, just well, like that. Sir. I'm going to um, take this inside and uh, see if I can find it. Of hmm? course, sir. Of course. Ron. Heart attack. That's all right, Sully will fix it. Come and meet Velma. Hello, boys. Hey, how are you doing? All right, boy. Just had to use a snatchback letter. He got his motor creased. Harry, Cinzano and Ice. Quite a bitter. That's why your eyes didn't last long, too much bloody tension. But tell me, you're... Tell me us buggers got to go out every day and do it. Everybody else. That Brian, he was a ice once, lost his nerve. Shh. This old town's filled with sand.
Say it's a month's time, Keith. I've been telling you all along. How much are we going to get for that Cortina out there, huh? 60 quid to split between the two of us. It's ridiculous. Hey, shh, shh. Yeah, you're a big sucker too. You've only got 60, 70 quid coming to your old lot. Big sucker. My damn business, anyway. It's not. It's the problem. Oh, so we could have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This country, this dump, the buses and the kibitzes. Where are you going? Germany. Got to out. Got to in the business. Isn't it? As long as I bring a bit of money with me. <laughs> This country, this don't get finished. It's a shaft every time. Look, I'm telling you, Keith, if you don't watch yourself, you're going to end up like Sol or Bryant. I will... Look at him. Did you get the lever? What? The lever. No, I didn't. Did you get anything? Look, have I had time, have I? What's that for? Oh, come on, Velma. Hasn't he paid you yet? He's trying to get out of it. Come on, Sol. That was a really great song. Oh, no. If you work for yourself, you couldn't sit around in here all day. Exactly. Sucker. Okay, Natalie. Was it a big job? Guys, you're 50, you know. <laughs> Where's Johnny? And there. Uh... Hey. And tell him to keep it quiet in there, huh? Sure. Where have you been? Oh, look, Keith. What's on? It's a special. Jensen? Fellow I happen to know about. He's gone to the continent tomorrow for the weekend. He's leaving his Jensen at the airport. You go on to him when he leaves his house. No problem. I'll ask him how much he's going to pay us for it. Special rates. 300. And 50. <laughs> Spit it any way you like. Yeah, do you hear that, Keith? They do me, so it's all right for me to do you. Now ask him how much he's going to sell the bastard for. Now, look, I've told you, Bryant. No more cut price deals. If you want to be cheap, get some new boys. That'll no be hard. <laughs> You want to watch it, Brian. They'll have you out on the road again. Come on, Keith. Keith's a clever boy. He knows Nickens know the end of it. Who's going to ring them for you, Johnny? Who's going to sell them? I can fix that. No, around here, you'll know. No, this side of town. I know when the governor hears about it.
All right. Now remember what I told you. Three golden rules. Use your loaf, never panic, and don't drop your prices. Okay, Johnny. Hey, Brian, what's the difference between a Scotsman and a orangutan? That makes you number one round here, Keith. Think you can handle it? Want to try the Jensen? Still 300. I'll need a coachman. You've got a coachman for 50. Here's the fella's address. He's in a 2.30 flight, Gatwick. Your mum done half one for him. She brought this group you bloke round the other day when Oscar was at work. How would that be, Keith? Pontoon? Blackjack? Five card stud? I'm on a job. You can get out if you want, or you can stay and earn yourself 50 quid. You don't have to do nothing illegal. Just drive this back from the airport. Grow up, Bob. Just drive. You going back now? Come and have a look. Ah, oh, it is a Jensen, Bob. Just a look. Bring the log book.
Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Just a ride up the motorway. Have it, boys. It's booked on a ferry tonight, Dover. My stake for Germany. No, you'll be all right. It's me, Dixon, will be after. <laughs> We're in a hurry, Keith. Come on, sport. do that for? 300 quid? Can you stand up? You could have it, Johnny. I don't want it. How am I going to get her to Dover in this state? They'll have first aid in the airport. Thank you. 